Good morning guys and welcome to my vlog from the Fondashian Heart in Geneva. I've been here for about a week and a half. I'm here for two weeks in total and I'm here researching and writing, trying to finish my thesis basically. Uh, so the Fondashian Heart is an institute for the study of antiquity which accommodates researchers, up to nine researchers at any one time and it's got a lot of facilities to assist with research and it's a really serene environment which kind of promotes uh, a good rigorous routine of academic writing uh, followed by lunch, a bit more writing, dinner and maybe some ping pong at the end of the day. So I thought I would film my research progress for one day while I'm at the Fondacian Heart uh, so you can see kind of what an average day looks like uh, when one is on a research stay such as this um, and that begins now. So first up it's, um, it's almost nine o'clock now, it's ten to nine, I've had some breakfast and I'm heading straight to the library to get started on redrafting uh, the last chapter of my thesis. Okay so I'm in the library now and it's pretty much one of the most beautiful libraries I've ever been to. This is the Fondacian Hart Library with a beautiful chandelier. So it's only books related to the ancient world and you can see there's nine desks, one for each of the researchers that are staying here. Anyway that's enough gazing at the books, time to get started for the day. Lunch is at 12.30, so I have a good few hours ahead of me. Okay, so that was the lunch bell that you just heard. And we're now off to lunch, and I thought I would show you the house that I'm staying in. This is the Fondashian Heart. Alright, I've just finished lunch and now I'm back to the library. So you can see kind of what the routine is like here. So before you heard the lunch bell go, that kind of regulates our day here. We have a bell that goes off at breakfast time, at lunch time, then dinner time. And because we're in Switzerland and we need to be punctual and keep to time, that means drop everything and go straight down to the dining room for meal time. So you can see Although we have like very nice surroundings here and it's very luxurious and serene and very conducive to getting a lot of work done, it's also a kind of rigorous scholarly environment and we spend basically all day, every day in the library. So it's about 10 to 6 now and I'm just going to head out for a quick run. Uh, this is probably one of the, for me personally any, anyway, this has probably been one of the best things about coming here to Geneva and getting away from life in London. Um, and this is that here I feel like I have time to do things like go for a run or go for a walk and do some exercise, read a novel before bed, things like that. So often in London, because I'm putting so many hours into my PhD, all the other hours of my day that I have left are really taken up by things like housework or cooking dinner and things like that. Here there's, there's just so little to do other than work that that there is time to do things like go for a run. So the food is provided here, um, the rooms are serviced and things like that. It's really a bit of a paradise for a researcher or a, for any academic. So I'm back from my run and just waiting for the dinner bell. When you're at the Fondashian Heart, your life is dictated by the dinner bell. Dinner bell. I'm trying to get a kind of edgy new, new French New Wave style. Yeah. Ora faremo un video italiano. <laughs> un giorno italiano alla Fondazione AR in cui stanno giocando i miei compagni. Di Ventura, Luke, Emma, Lisa e Elizabeth nascosta, eccola. Come vedete il livello è molto professionale. <laughs> È molto avanzato. Sono molto bravi e molto seri. Vedete come sono infallibili? Just back in from ping pong. It was it's a really nice way to finish the day. We have a kind of formal dinner and then every night we go out and play ping pong for a little bit. It's just a nice kind of relaxing collegial social thing to do. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm a bit out of breath. That doesn't say much about my fitness, does it? Um, anyway, so it's quarter past nine. I'm now going back to the library to finish chapter five. I'm definitely, oh, I shouldn't say definitely because we never know what's going to happen, but I'm on track to finishing it. I've only got a couple more pages to do, so I'm really happy about that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and stay in the library until it's done. And then bedtime. So I didn't finish my vlog last night, sorry guys. Um, by the time I finished in the library, I thought it was probably too late for me to talk to a camera because it's very, very quiet. I hope this vlog has given you some insight into what an average day here looks like. The type of routine that gets established and the amount of work that you can get done when there is just absolutely no distractions around you, um, except for the ping pong table. Uh, if you're a classicist, you can apply to come here any time of the year, and if you're a classicist who is under 35 years old, you can apply for a research, research fellowship, which covers um, the cost of staying here, and it also gives you um, a contribution towards your travel costs. And the next deadline for the research scholarships is the end of April, so you only have a few days if you want to apply to come over the summer or the autumn. And I'd certainly recommend coming. I think it's really a really good thing to do, especially if you're a PhD student. If you're from another discipline, I hope you can find something similar because I think this type of retreat is a really good idea and can really help you kind of reset yourself, get a little bit less stressed, but simultaneously get on top of your work. It's a way of having a holiday without having any time off, basically. Uh, anyway, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and you'll get notified when I put my next video up. I upload every Monday and I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye guys!